it's snowing. It's snowing here in Unity, New Hampshire. Big, white, fluffy snowflakes falling down. Frozen ice, frozen water coming down as big, puffy snow. I wanted to get a video of this, so I waited until today. The best storm that I've been out in slowly just can you feel can you hear can you listen can you listen to the quiet can you listen to the stillness the stillness of the snow I love I love you, I love you, I love you. Snow, 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 oh, snow. <laughs> Sitting in a snowbank, getting all snowy, and it feels so good, and it feels so freeing, because I love snow. I love water. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the amazing snow we have received in New Hampshire. Big snow bankings everywhere. People are out skiing. My friends, my hosts are off skiing today at Mount Sunapi. And I'm here reading a book by the fire and looking at the snow and saying, I need to capture this for you. You, my brothers and sisters, my family, my love family, my heart connection. I'm reading a great book I wanted to tell you about, Daughters of Copper Woman. It's a must read. It's an older book written in 81 by um, not Julia Cameron, Susan Cameron, a Cameron. It's an ancient story from the Northwest peoples, peoples of the Northwest of the United States continent. Read that book. It's an, it's an origin story of the female origins and how th times have shifted into the male dominance and, and how the old woman is always here with us. She's always here with us. If we can connect to her and, and ask her for her wisdom and her wisdom will come in, is, is coming in. I love you, I love you, I love you. I open my heart to you, my fellow, my fellow human beings, my brothers and my sisters. You are all my relatives as I am here in New Hampshire in hibernation, but came out of my cave just to feel the snow and smell the snow and ah, oh, let the snow land on my mouth, land on my body, come into my hair and let you see and feel and know the beauty of this snow, the beauty of this water, this sacred water. I love this water. I love this water so much. And the more you can love your water, that love, that vibration, that consciousness that you give it of your love will flow into the waterways everywhere. So I invite you to come with me on your own way, in your own journey, on your own path to love your water everywhere. Pray for your food before you eat it. It is full of water. Pray for your body before you drink water. Pray for your water as you drink it and allow it to nourish you. Water is the best medicine. Clean, fresh, spring water, clean water is the best medicine. If you were to just drink water for a couple of days and nothing else, clean water, that would replenish you, would clear you out. Why not try it? I invite you. So until next time, I'm Janie King. I'm here in Unity, New Hampshire, blessing the snow, blessing the water, enjoying this moment of fresh air and silence. The silence of snowing. How gentle it is. How quiet it is. It's replenishing our aquifers, replenishing our earth body. It's replenishing us. Until next time, love your water. Janie King. Go to my... Um, YouTube channel, New Earth Lifestyles, 
or my Facebook page, Janie.King.37, or my website, www.JaneEKingHeartHealer.com. I'm here to heal my heart, and in so doing, heal your heart as we become one, as unity, unity happens, as I've been blessed with this miracle of living here, living here in Unity, New Hampshire. Pardon me. Unity. We are all one. Love your water. Ohomatakiasen.